Well, let's take a look at that. Uh, let's see, found you. Okay, and um, use hundred percent. Then we have. What do we have? F of T. Uh, paintbrush. Okay. Yeah. We have F of T. I'll eventually get this. We have F of T is equal to T squared plus T. And it says to find the uh, F of T plus H minus F of T all over H, H. Okay. Now we got two steps, three steps. Uh, first step doesn't really count, but um, our first step is to identify F of T. Well, that's easy. It's given. F of t is equal to t squared plus t. A lot of people uh, on step one, uh, they don't know where to get to find f of t. Well, it's given. Second step is we want to find f of t plus h. Which means we're going to go back to our original function, and everywhere we have a t, we'll put in a parentheses. Now, whatever is inside the parentheses right here is automatically what you put in here and here. So we'll put T plus H here and we'll put T plus H here. Well T plus H squared is T plus H times T plus H plus, and that's just T plus H. Boil this, T times T is T squared T times H is HT, H times T is HT, and H times H is H squared, plus T plus H. Now step three, we want to plug in F of T from step one and F of T plus H from step two into our formula. So we got our formula F of T plus H minus F of T over H. So F of T plus H is all of this. So we got T squared plus, I didn't simplify that, did I? HT plus HT is 2HT plus H squared plus T plus H minus, and then you want to put F of T inside the parentheses. And F of T from step one we said was T squared plus T all over H. So that's going to give us T squared plus 2HT plus H squared plus T plus H. And remember a negative in front of your parentheses flips the sign of everything inside. So this is going to flip the sign of the T squared and of the T. So it becomes a negative T squared minus T all over H. Now combine like terms. T squared minus T squared going to cancel. Uh, what else is going to cancel? T minus T will cancel. So then we're left with 2HT plus H squared plus H over H. Now your main goal is to get rid of the H in the denominator. That's, that's our in goal in this. And I notice up on top that all my terms have an H. So I can factor an H out. And that gives us 2H plus not 2H, try it again, 2T plus H plus 1. All over H. Now when I do that, the H is going to cancel. That'll cancel with that. And we got 2t plus h plus 1. I feel like I made a mistake. Uh, 2t plus h. No, I didn't. Okay. 
<laughs> I don't know why, but I was expecting there's something something else to be here. Um, but that's how come the one's there. When you factor away an H, it appears like there's nothing left GCF-wise, then you're always left with the invisible one. Because going back in the uh, other direction, H times 2T would give you 2HT, H times H is H squared, and H times 1 is H. Uh, 